all right, so I get to fish for a living, right? So that means I get all these promotional products. Not so fast, okay? Not so fast. There's a two, two products I wanna show you that I have no affiliation with, nothing to do with them, but I've used them before and they are must-haves for your bass boat. Number one, Bass Boat Technologies Mount. Now, I tell you, I, I promote TH Marine products. They make all kind of amazing marine products from, I mean, filters from the inside of your boat to your jack plate, and they make amazing products. Uh, T, I mean, even the, the daggone Hydrowave, I love that. They make a bunch of products. And they make some standard mounts for, for units that are, are fantastic. The Kong mount, rock solid, rock solid mount. But they don't make these type of customized mounts that go into the different particular models. And Bass Boat Technologies, it's a small company. They, they make amazing mounts that go exactly to the model boat that you have. I mean, whether you have a Ranger or a Blazer or a Bass Cat or whatever the heck you got, they, they make rock solid mounts. As you can see, it is super simple. Everything comes pre-cut. All you have to do is set the mount in there and drill the hole, drill the, a few holes and, and mount it in there. It takes, I mean, 30 minutes to mount this thing. Uh, and as you can see, it's rock solid. They have single mounts, double mounts. You can put in there exactly what model you have and they'll, it'll come to you super simple to install. So that's the first one, Bass Boat Technologies mount. Uh, check those things out. If you have a bass boat and you need a mount for a unit, and no matter how big your, your unit is, this is a Laurent 16, big unit. Uh, not that heavy, but it's a big unit. And this thing is just, I mean, it's rock solid. It is not going anywhere when I'm going down the lake. Number two, let's go to the front. Coming up here, number two, is that you're gonna spend money for whatever units you have. Now, whether it's a, a Lawrence unit or a Garmin unit or, or whatever you have on your boat, the DuraSafe locks, these things are pretty slick, dude. They go right on, they replace this knob on the side. And as you can see, I'll just take this one off. I'll install one of them just to show you. Now, you can see that that comes off. These are the locks, pretty simple, right? And then they're gonna have a bolt that matches whatever you, ha whatever you have. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just take and, and look around and it looks like this one, I guess this is the one that goes in there. I'm gonna take it out of the package. I didn't even looked at the diagram, but you gotta put the washer on there. Put the little washer on there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this up, take this portion off, then put the little washer in there, put the, put the screw in there. Actually, I'll put the screw on with the drill, the handy drill I've got. Put that right in there. And then, well, wait a minute. That's not the right one. That's why they give you all these options. It's not the right one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find the right one. That one's too short. This is the right one. Longer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll figure it out here. Put that on the drill. Put that bad boy right on there. Making it much harder than it really is, but that's okay. All right, so you're just gonna take your drill, make sure you don't have it set for too strong. You don't wanna, you don't wanna tear anything up, but you're just gonna put it right on there. Get it nice and tight, nice and snug. Your unit's not gonna move anywhere. You're gonna wanna make sure you have it at whatever angle you want that on before you lock it down. But you're just gonna put your, your lock on there. Turn the key and it's, it's on there, it's locked. You can put the little cover back on it and either you can put one on both sides or you can just put, I'm going to just put one on one side because I mean, there's no, there's no getting it off without this key. You're not getting that lock off. So now I know that my, 
my $3,000 Lowrance HDS Live 12 is not going anywhere. It is gonna stay on my boat because I have had these units ripped off my boat before staying in not so nice areas. I have had that happen before. So, Elox by DuraSafe Bass Boat Technologies, two things every bass boat must have that I have no affiliation with. I have a lot of things that I would 100% buy if I had to that are on here, but I'm not gonna tell you about those because I probably have some sort of affiliation with them. But these two things, no affiliation, check them out. Might wanna put the links, I'll probably put the links right down there in the bottom to them. Put them in the bottom. Put the links down at the bottom. So they're gonna be down there. Watch some other cool videos on my setup of the boat. That'd be fun. You can watch those. If you have any comments, anything else you think I need to put in a video, put it down there as well. Thanks for watching.